This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank at home in Iowa at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. Eric Brealey and you and I head men's basketball coach Ben Jacobson breaking down the great season that was 21 wins. The fifth straight year the Panthers have won 20 games or more. And coach, I know it didn't end the way you wanted to in the CIT, but still three wins and making it to the semifinals of uh, postseason play. Yeah, you know, the guys uh, put together a good run. Um, in the, uh, in the CIT and, and the way in which they practiced and prepared and the way in which we played, um, the crowds that we had in here, it was all set up for us to, to get one against Weaver State and, and to host a, a championship game. Um, and, you know, at, at that point, you give Weaver State enough credit for coming in here and playing good. You know, they, uh, they made shots early in the game and made good plays, and, and they've had a, I think that was their 30th win. So obviously a good basketball team. Um, but our guys did, they, they pushed it uh, as, as far uh, within three days uh, of as far as we were going to go this year given um, the fact that we were in the CIT and not in the NIT or in the NCAA tournament. And um, So I, I do, I'm uh, proud of the guys for that, uh, give the guys a lot of credit for that. Uh, and we went on a heck of a run for February 1st, you know, the way in which we played in, in the league. Uh, would like to have that conference tournament quarterfinal game back. Uh, but as we all know, you don't get to, you don't get to have some stuff back. Uh, but these guys were uh, were terrific for the last two months. A tough non-conference schedule, but yeah, you really turned the corner uh, in in mid January there, third place in the conference standings. And and what what did you like about that that run to get to that third place in league play? Well, I, you know, I, I think what I like uh, uh, what I like most about it is you know, we were four and six in the league and 11 11 overall and expectations that the guys had for themselves going into the year were to win a championship and to play in the NCAA tournament. And at that point, uh, those things are looking like they're uh, long, long shots. And uh, um, so you've got to, you know, you've got to rally and you've got to dig deep and you've got to find a way to, um, to stay with the things that we've been successful doing, but also uh, willing to make a change here and there so that we can move forward. And, um, and that's where I give uh, this group, and in particular the four seniors, a ton of credit. Because uh, we didn't change a lot of things in terms of what we were doing. Uh, they did, just did them a little bit better, and they continued to, uh, to believe in each other, believe in what we're doing, and trust us that, um, that this does, does work. Um, and that, you know, for that reason, they, uh, they do. They, they deserve a, a, a ton of credit. And they made February 1st until um, our game with uh, uh, Weber State. They made quite a run there, and that's fun for everybody, and that, uh, uh, that certainly uh, helps our program continue to move forward. Cook, Son, and Peel, James, how special was this group? They've experienced a lot of success here, as we mentioned, five consecutive 20-win seasons. Right, and that's, uh, um, as, I, as I've told those guys, and I've told them a couple times this year, um, as we got about um, toward the end of February, uh, the way in which those guys responded to, to being 11-11 being and, 11 and, and uh, under 500 in the league, and the way that they rallied the guys, and you know, the way A.J. finished at Missouri State, the way Jake finished against Creighton, the way Mark uh, has played all year and continued to um, uh, to make big shots for us and continue to lead us and the, you know, the example that Austin has continued to set for our program day in and day out regardless of how much he was playing, uh, that, that's as good as it gets for guys and, and I told them that uh, um, for me and for our program uh, they've done as good a job as any group of seniors that we've had. You know, each year is a little bit different uh, in terms of where you end up and, and uh, how the season uh, how the season goes, you know, what tournament you end up playing in or where you but these guys have been uh, every bit as good as, as any group of seniors that we've had come through our program, and uh, you know they're uh, they're going to be missed. Some great qu quality wins over their career, but even this year, oh, three wins over teams in the NCAA tournament: Wichita State, who's in the Final Four; Creighton, St. Mary's. Uh, some some definite bright spots to this year as as well throughout the seniors' career. Yeah, some of those individual games that you mentioned, but I also um, would add to that played well enough that we were really close to um, to winning a league title. Mm -hmm. um, coming away from four and six, we got we got real close. If AJ doesn't get hurt against Denver, uh, whether we win that one or don't, um, we still got a chance at Southern with a, with a healthy healthy Anthony James, a chance to win a game there and, and finish at 12 and six, and that ties us uh, um, for second. But that's a game out of first, and. Uh, that's a uh, that's a huge deal. It uh, um, just because we finished, you know, where we were picked and where we expected to, you know, we expected to finish first, but close to where we expected to. When you got to come from four and six, uh, that's a huge deal. And uh, 
So again, these guys deserve a ton of credit. I couldn't be, I could not be more proud of, of those four guys. And there's a there's a lot of things, uh, uh, you know. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail with each one of the guys, but I, I'm telling you, there, there's a number of things that happened, and they taught me a ton about the way in which to, to coach guys and coach teams. And, and uh, uh, so I won't miss those guys. A very special group that gave so much to you and I, Panther Athletics, and the men's basketball program. You and I men's basketball in a very good spot as we look forward to the, the future of this program as well. Congratulations on another great year, Coach. We look forward to following you in the off season and next year as well, Coach. Good. Thanks, Eric. All right, plenty more Panther Sports Talk coming your way next.